On the last episode of What We Know, we talked about YouTubers, some things that were posted on various media pages, and Reddit responses. It was a pretty interesting video, but now let's move on to the next one. So I should probably start off by saying sorry I missed a deadline for a ready or not video on Friday. Unfortunately, I had to go on a sudden vacation. Um, I had a fun time and I will definitely be posting that video. In fact, you could probably click it like right here, you know, if you want to see what I did. I originally was going to have a Wikipedia page for us to look at it because there there wasn't anything special in particular, but the one thing that I noticed is that it had a lot of links to a bunch of articles, but unfortunately it got deleted. Like, I can't seem to find that one Wikipedia page. It had like a bunch of links leading to a bunch of articles, and I was like, oh, well, cool, I'll look those over later. But now I can't seem to find it. So let's go down the list. Uh, let's try YouTube. Nope, nothing new on their YouTube. Let's try Instagram. Oh, so they actually have something on their Instagram. Cool, it's a picture of what looks like a SWAT truck. Um, I'm trying to look at the insignias that they have on the side here. Um, obviously, on the front top window here, it just says SWAT, SWAT. You could clearly see Metro Police SWAT. Now, of what Metro, I don't know. Zooming in on the insignia that's here, I can read three Latin words. The first one says Veritas. The next one says Justicia. And the last one says Libertas. And basically all together it says truth, justice, liberty. That's what it means. But you know, I thought I'd do a little more research than just that, just to see what it, you know, where it came from. So it says the Latin words Veritas, Justicia and Libertas, which frame the seal of the Free University of Berlin, stand for the values that have defined the academic ethos of Free University ever since it was founded in December 1948. And here is the picture of the university stamp, which bears somewhat of a resemblance. Veritas, truth, is the highest aim of the research and teaching activities pursued at Free University. In the modern sense, this focus on truth means outlining a clear interest in new findings and insights for the university academic activities, protecting those activities from the risk of obituariness, and observing the standards of good academic practice. It is the quest for truth that academia finds the core of its intellectual self-image, its methodological sustainability, and its internal drive drive and dynamism dynam here's the definition of dynamism the quality of being characterized by vigorous activity and progress justicia justice refers to the university's alignment to generally acknowledge canon of values led by personal commitment and social responsibility the term also stands in no small measure for an academic education that is open to young people from all over the world regardless of social status sex national origin religion creed or ethnicity libertas freedom or liberty according to google is the basic prerequisite for the research and teaching activities to be successful only if academia determines its own goals and responsibilities independently of external influences whether from state the church the business sector or the wider society can it meet the standards of achieving new knowledge with social consciousness as important as each of the university's three guiding principles on its own the interaction between them is also fundamental truth without freedom becomes rigid dogma justice without truth an empty norm, and freedom without justice, a game with nothing at stake. Only where truth, justice, and freedom come together as values to form a greater whole is there space for intellectual commonality and open a discourse in an unrestricted interchange of ideas. Free University believes its role to provide exactly that kind of space for ideas and its guiding principles to resonate. A place that brings together innovation, researchers, and students' concepts and ideas. So I'd imagine that one of the developers might have gone to this German school and thought, Wow, this is a really cool thing. <laughs> and they decided to add that in. That's actually kind of cool. But I haven't found anything on it. Uh, there might be some other reasons why this might be on here, but I don't seem to see anything else. If anybody has any other things to you know put in the comments, just let me know. Just let me know. That was really cool, so let's see if I could find anything else. Uh, there seems to be a... Uh, what is that? A leopard? 
Is that that kind of looks like a leopard or a black? Uh, what do you call it, lion? Yeah, I can't figure out where you know this this vehicle is placed. I mean, obviously an area that has metro on it, but there's a bunch of freaking cities that have metros. Metropolitan Police Department of the District of Columbia. So this is D.C. So this could be a uh, our capital. Our, our capitals police department this could also be las vegas police department this could also be nashville's police department this could also be what is this massachusetts interesting so this could be any one of those places i just named off or maybe some other place that i can't think of with the leopard though i don't know if that gives anything away maybe in nashville because wait 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 one second nashville nashville what? Don't they have a football team? Isn't it like the Jaguars? Ja oh, that's in Tennessee. Okay. Damn, I was way off. Oh, man. I don't know what the fuck that is. Alright, well, leave your thoughts in the comments because I'm stumped. I don't know why this would be here. Maybe this is like some kind of, like, a leopard force? I don't know. Maybe this is what their insignia is supposed to be? I have no idea, but let's... This is this is a pretty interesting images. Let's let's um let's move on, you know? I, I got what I could out of it, but I, you know, let's move on. Do you have anything on Google Plus? I mean, aside from a picture, nothing really. Facebook nothing's really changed there. Twitter, they have Nope, same thing is there. There's nothing new on Twitter, so let's move on. Their webpage, nothing new. Well, the only thing left to do is go over to the Reddit, which seems to be where I only get anything at all. Or at least the devs seem to be the most active anyway. So let's start pushing on, huh? So here's what I thought that I would do when it comes to Reddit. I decided to divide up the topics. You know, I want stuff that's actually serious first, and then memes and jokes later, and then... I don't know, something with the community, like, you know, Siege versus Ready or Not or whatever. But this is only for people that actually have dev responses, um, just to, you know, focus it around that. So I want to make I want to make sure that all the new stuff is actually before the funny memes and shit. So let's go. So up first we have pre-order before gameplay, rip. I don't know what to call this. So I saw Big Fry TV's video on Ron News. He pointed out that you guys are making pre-orders before we even get to see gameplay. And said that can actually hurt pre-orders. Cause while a good amount of people would pre-order before anything is shown off, you could get more people on board right away if you release gameplay within the next 35 days. So how's that gonna work? Is that the plan? And him and I are slow to think of it turning out otherwise. P.S. I love you, Daddy Rag. What the hell? Confusion? Is he talking about me? I, uh, an easy street replies with, We aren't going to do pre-orders before showing off the gameplay properly. I mean, yeah, I mean, you always want to show off the gameplay first before you go, off, go out with pre-orders. That would be the ideal situation, right? Alright, moving on to the next one. Up next we have Bug Tracker. Sorry everyone, this is not a meme, but a question. I just woke up from the fifth time. I've dreamt I was playing the beta. The game seems to be going very well by the way. I'm slowly familiarizing myself with the mechanics after a couple times. And during that dream, I remember encountering a bug in a specific part of a mission. So, in my dream, I was actually recording the bug on my phone so that I could send it to Void. Now, here's when I woke up. Because sweet things last too little and thought, well, that was impractical. I noticed that the idea of an actual bug tracker has never been talked about, so I had to ask about it. I think it'd be very useful, practical, and in fact encouraging to have a simple in-game bug reporter or bug tracker through which we could send our feedback to the devs during the beta. Just a simple interface, preferably accessible anytime we're playing, where we can write a little description or add in any important details and send it out right away. Have you guys thought of implementing it? If not, would you consider it? Sure. We could also just write it down and post it here or wherever. But I think having a simple and swift game process to report those bugs would be much straightforward. And a lot more players would actually report bugs instead of being too lazy to go somewhere else to do so. You encounter a bug, you report it. Boom. Done. You keep playing as if nothing happened. Well, what do you think, guys? And the developer replies with, Way ahead of you. There's already something like that in the game. I mean... I feel like that's standard, but maybe that's just me. Usually when Unreal crashes for me, like a, a, a thing pops up and it tells me like, you know, report the crash or whatever. But usually it's because, you know, I do it to myself sometimes. But yeah. Moving on to the next one. We have got 
Ready or not price? $30 or $60? Any ideas? And the developer just replies with, Supporter Edition contains a lot of goodies, which people should dig. I won't give it away yet, but none of them are P2W. Purely aesthetic and appropriate for the game. Moving on to the next one, which says, Projects after Ready or Not? You guys look like you're pretty talented with what I've seen. Will you stick as a team to do other games, or it was just to make Ron? What could it be? Yeah, I'm early to ask this question, and the developer replies with, We're in it for the long haul, not just for Ron. If our game is received well, then there will be more games on the horizon for sure. Are we gonna get a Ready or Not 2? You heard it here, folks. You heard it here. Ready or Not 2, confirmed by Durag. Moving on to the next one, we have, Can I Sprint? I mean, that, that should be an obvious yes, right? And it just says, can I sprint in the game? And the developer replies with, Shift will bring your officer to max speed, just FYI. So I think the way that the system is going to work, depending on how much gear you decide to bring, uh, I'd imagine that your guy's going to get slower with every uh, bulk or weight that he has. And, the, and, and bringing less stuff will determine how fast you go. At least I think that's how that's going to go. You know, it's going to be a lot like SWAT 4, so yeah. I'd imagine that's how it's gonna go. Moving on to the next one. Can you wear OD Green in Ron? And it just shows a picture of uh, police that look a lot like military force, which I am very against, but the developer went ahead and said yes. You know, it's always good to have options, but I'm just not a fan of the green, so I think I'm gonna stick with black or blue, one of the two. Moving on to the next one, which says, can we toggle sprint, etc.? I think it would be a benefit if we could have the option to toggle abilities such as sprint and lean. I despise games that make you hold down the sprint and lean buttons. It makes combat clunky and painful as we try to smash three keys with our left wrist and aim with our right and the developer replies with, currently you can toggle crouch, free lean, free look, iron sights, and the sprint key. All of those buttons can function like holdable keys too. Toggling the quick lean will require some big changes but we'll see if it's in the cards. All right moving on to the next one. Shields? Oh, got a bit of a long one here. Movement. How will the players be able to stack up on the shield? Will players be able to stack up on shields to prevent friendly fire and ensure optimal coverage? How great will the penalty be to the movement speed of the shield bearer? Will crouching with the shield be possible? Is once turn speed affected? Visibility. How drastic of the reduction of sight lines be for the shield bearer? Will bullet damage to the bulletproof glass remain permanent throughout the mission? Can bullets pass through the glass portion of the shield? If so, will these impacts look different from others? Protection. What kind of rounds will shields outright stop? How much backslash what is protected by a shield? Is the top of the head visible? How much of the legs, sides, etc. Protection versus stingers, flashbangs. Will the shields protect against multiple rounds striking in one area? For example, a sustained burst fire from an SMG. Offensive capabilities. How accurate will firing with a pistol be with a shield? Are pistols that are used with a shield modular? Will ADS, aiming down sights, be possible? Can gadgets backslash throwables be used while a shield is equipped? Miscellaneous. Can there be multiple teammates with a shield? Can there be multiple teammates with shields at any one time? Can a shield be unequipped at any time during the mission? Yeah, probably should have posted this monster during the AMA, but I didn't, so here it is. And the developer replies with, You can't stack on shields, as of currently, due to some issues with sync. Movement speed isn't penalized too heavy with a shield. You're still maneuverable. Bullets can't pass through the glass portion of the shield, but it'll look different for sure. Idea is, if you're shot enough, you can't see shit. Your upper body is mostly protected. So are a lot of the player's vitals. Max of two shields per level, but two won't be easy to get. What does he mean by that? Shields are deployables. Ooh, interesting. Meaning that they can get retrieved from the truck at the start of the mission. Oh and are dropped when players swap weapons. No shields being slung onto backs. No magic disappearing act. You'll just drop it when you're done with it and retrieve your primary from your sling. Mmm, cool. Skipped a few of your questions because it's a work in progress, as is everything. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, let's move on to the next one. Will there be any alternatives to the mouse wheel usage? My mouse wheel is completely messed up, and sometimes it registers me turning it even when I'm not even touching my mouse. By the sound of it, there are going to be a lot of things that utilize the mouse wheel. Is there a way these could be bound to other buttons rather than the wheel? And the developer replies with, yup. You can configure functions that are on the mouse wheel to other axis or two separate up-down keys by default. We have it mapped to the scroll wheel and numpad eight and two. All right. All right, cool, cool. It's cool. It's always cool to have options to switch around stuff because I don't know about that alt being the <laughs> link key. That's kind of, I don't know. I might switch that. Well, it looks like all the serious questions seem to be over with. So let's head on over to the uh, memed questions.
So we have... Meme that isn't about Siege, finally! Hmm, maybe we should get some ideas from the community. Alright everyone, ask us Are there females?! Can this nation be in the game?! I really want this nation in the game?! And the developer replies with a heart, but later on says, More memes and you'll get the gameplay trailer faster. Lame cheesy kiwi is going to kill me now. I'm guessing that's a part of their team? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Alright, moving on to the next one. Discover of the game. Huh. Oh. Oh. Then somebody in the comments section says, I was a little disappointed to hear that its focus is on single player. As nice as it is, I was hoping for a deep, tactical multiplayer experience to be the focus. And the developer applies with plenty of games like that already. We're focusing on co-op and single player, but multiplayer isn't being thrown aside. If you like the multiplayer in games like Swap 4, you'll probably like ours. Interesting. And that's all the developer had to say about that one. Moving on to the next one. Will this totally accurate rendition of the LAPD's D platoon from the late 90s make an appearance? And it just shows a picture of Ghost Quarters Battle? What the heck is that? And somebody in the comment section says, In all honesty though, I actually think that the headgear from SWAT 3 is cheesy. In a good way. It's something you'd see out of a comic book, which is probably why I love it. Plus, it explains in-universe why the SWAT officers have a HUD camera and immunity to CS gas. And the developer replies with, maybe as some sort of skin, could be good. Some of the team want to see classic Ron Player models make a return, but I think this would be more interesting. Hmm, interesting. I mean, I don't know how they'd be able to do that because, you know, it's not a part of their franchise. I mean, how would you, how would you be legally obligated to do that? I mean, well, I don't know. I don't know. Could they do that? Somebody write it in the comments, I have no idea. And then the next one we have... So, you asked for it, Void. <laughs> Boy. Swap Drop four. your gameplay oh Hey, now. LMAO, is ready or not? Ready or not? What have I done? And the developer replies with, These memes will be the strength that carries us to the finish line. Interesting. <laughs> Alright. Moving on to the next one we have... DLC leak? Showing gameplay with audio. Adding Minecraft Battle Royale. Void Interactive! And the developer replies with, This is the best one so far. And somebody replies to that saying, The best meme gets a free copy of the game. What about that? Spreads the word about the game and makes everyone laugh. And the developer replies with, I reckon. No promises though. I mean, wouldn't that be cool, right? <laughs> the best meme gets a free copy. As I post a meme myself. Moving on to the next one, which says, LEAKED! Pictures of a drone for the prep phase! To fucking Tiny Abrams take. <laughs> Alright, that'd be great. What's that pipsqueak gonna do? <laughs> oh Jesus fucking shit! Uh, somebody in the comments says, as, as funny as this one is, it did make me laugh though. I do have to say one thing, this game better not be like Rainbow Six Siege, or it'll be a pass for me. Cause I'm really looking forward to this game and the realism to run the ratio is trying to go. I've never played SWAT by the way, and there better not be a staging moment with drones, it's better when it's a surprise. That gives for better moments and more tactical teamwork. And the developer replies to that saying, only staging drone will be with your team team and the CPRP before the mission begins. Planning entry points and everything else, best you'll get is a CCTV or a suspect description from free civilians. Oh, okay. Oh, free civilians? Wait, so civilians come in and tell you the missions? Ooh, that's interesting. I was not expecting that from a meme post. <laughs> Moving on to the next one, we've got... Guys, stop leaking crap or else this shit happens. <laughs> Hands in! Get yeah! down! Get the freaky diggy down! <laughs> and the developer replies with just a sad face. Aww. Moving on to the next one, we've got... Ready or not, UI leaked! You, you gotta loot crate! Oh my god! Oh, big oh, big 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 oh Jesus kill. Christ, passionate. Triple kill. And the developer replies with, Someone at Void left the faucet on again. Curious how our super under wraps adware enable P2W SWAT Battle Royale MOBA MMO FPS mode got leaked. <laughs> uh, please delete. <laughs> Multi kill. Moving on to the next one. We've got. Ready or not community right now. Memes or no game. Block volume invisible to players. Yep, pretty much. That's, that's, just ba that's basically how it is right now. The death pit. What? What did that say? Be like siege. Oh, <laughs> this is death pit, of course. Hoodie, me see, even, eris, and paradiso. I think that's Spanish? So that's actually Latin. And this says, today you will be with me in paradise. Been standing most of my life. 
Living in the gangsta's paradise. Moving on to the next one. Another big facts. Facts. Gunter caused this. And Gunter replies with big, if true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Law. And the other developer says, interesting, if accurate. Somebody replies to him saying, deciphering. So what I found from this comment is that you are implying that Ron will have full vehicle mobility in the Battle Royale mode. That was confirmed. Will be fought with donuts. Interesting. And the developer replies with flamethrowers only partly mode confirmed. Wouldn't that be crazy if like it, the, one of the persons that you had to take down had a fucking flamethrower? And boys and girls, I believe that is it. That is all we have for today. Thanks everybody for coming out to watch and I will catch you in the next one. Be sure to do all that crazy shit that other YouTubers tell you to do. But, you know, I fucking...